Hey there kings and queens, my name is Kincaid McMinn and you're watching the Kingly Love YouTube channel. Two days from today is going to be International Women's Day and I have been so excited for this to come out you guys. I've been excited about this video for weeks in advance. Um, I've got something really really fun planned for everyone today. Now it's going to make some of you really excited and really goofy and it's going to make others of you a little uncomfortable. And that's okay no matter what side of the stadium you're on. Just Take a deep breath, strap in. Relax. International Women's Day. Today we're going to talk about strap-ons. Now, most strap-ons that you can order online or that you can find in an adult boutique have two parts to it. You'll have a dildo, sometimes silicone like this one here, or sometimes made from another type of material, and you'll have a harness. You can buy them together. A lot of beginner kits will have them together as part of a unit, but you can also buy them separately. If you're buying dildos separately, one thing that you're going to want to look for is that the dildo has a flared base to it, like this. The harnesses are going to have what's called an O-ring, so you can see that there's this kind of rubber O here that the dildo then slides into and catches on the base here at the bottom. But enough about just talking about strap-ons, let's try it on. Alright, so most strap-ons have three loops. You have two leg loops that you'll fit your th uh, you'll fit through and tighten around your thighs, and then you have a larger uh, waist loop that you'll go ahead and uh, tighten around your waist as well. So what we're gonna do is we have our dildo inserted into the uh, O-ring here, so it's firmly in place. And we're going to step through the leg loops, get the dildo into position on the front of our pelvis here, then tighten the waist strap, hold that in place, and then we can tighten the leg straps. And there you go. You're strapped into your strap on. Look at that. Mm. When you're all ready to go, you can apply your favorite water based anal lube to the phallus and go to town. Now, this harness is just consisting of some nylon straps with a couple of buckles on them that you can tighten. Most harnesses, if you're buying them separately nowadays, are going to have nice padding on them that don't chafe. And, uh, and also have some really pretty designs on them, some really cool designs that fit comfortably, look sensual, look sexy, and make you feel great. There are lots of other variations of strap-ons out there beyond just what I've shown you. There are strap-ons that are designed like a normal pair of underwear or a pair of panties that are very, very comfortable. You have strap-ons that attach to various other parts of the body, such as your thigh that your partner can then ride and grind on. There are even strap-ons uh, that attach around the back of the like around the back of the head and protrude from the chin that you're that you can then penetrate your partner with while performing cunnilingus on them which is super cool uh, and finally there are even strapless strap-ons that a woman holds in place using her vaginal kegel muscles uh, and then can penetrate a partner uh, with the other end of the strap-on there's also a ton of variation in the couplings of people who use strap-ons it's not just limited to one set of persons or one sexual orientation the kind of stereotype that's out there is that it's just for lesbians, that a lot of lesbians use strap-ons for penetrative sex, and that does happen. However, males can use strap-ons as well with male or female partners, especially if they have erectile dysfunction or if they uh, are wanting to kind of increase their girth or their length. There are even hollow strap-ons nowadays that you can insert your erect penis into that give you a little bit of extra length and girth as well to help satisfy your partner, and a lot of couples do that nowadays too. Finally, there's also the role reversal, which is a lot of fun of women using a strap-on on their male partners in an act of what's known as pegging, and that creates a lot of fun kind of power dynamics and a lot of fun role reversal for uh, couples who may have feel like they've gotten into a bit of a rut. To and that's one of my favorite things about strap ones is if you're typically the aggressive partner, you can lean back and be a little bit more passive and receptive. If you're typically the receptive partner, you can then be aggressive and really just pound your way through your partner and, and exhibit a different side of yourself than you're used to. It can be really fun and add a lot of spice to a relationship. That's why I recommend that for International Women's Day is, it is to kind of take hold and, and own your sexuality in a way that's different than what you're used to. So that's my video on strap-ons, you guys. 
If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button as well. So that way you can get more notifications from me about, you know, fun, sexy content that I produce and, you know, fun commentary about how to improve your sex lives. And if you think someone else could find value in this, go ahead and share it with them. You know, if you have a partner, maybe take this home and show your partner. And so see what you guys can do in terms of mixing things up a little bit. And finally, if you have any questions that you want to leave for me, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Maybe this is something new for you and you have some kind of questions or issues about it. Let's talk about it. I'm more than happy to. That's all I have for you guys today. I will be back with a video actually in two days from now on International Women's Day with a little bit of something that's a bit different. In the meantime, I will talk to you all soon. I have so much love for every single one of you. Remember to love like royalty.